Hi, I'm Tom Stickney, Director of Golf Instruction here at the Promontory Club in Park City, Utah. We're on the Nicholas course on number five, and as you can see, the pin over there is back left. There's a big, huge ridge that runs through the middle of the screen, so everybody tries to play it over here and let it funnel down the ridge, because if you hit it from the tee box over this bunker, there's not a lot of green to work with. Unfortunately, sometimes we tend to shove it, and when we do, we end up, we end up with this particular putt right here. Now, we can see the green goes up like this, takes a big dive down. I'm gonna hit two putts here, and I wanna make sure that you come to the green and you always pay attention to what's around you, okay? So if I go over here and I just play it high, way up here, high to the right, what's gonna happen is it's gonna take that steep part of that slope as it's done right there, and it's gonna gather speed and it's gonna take off, okay? And as we come down there, you can see that ball keeps on truck and that's probably gonna go close to off the green. Okay, when you come up here, that's usually the first thing you're gonna see. But remember, there's two ways to get to the hole. If I play it over here to the left a little bit, I can run it through that fringe and hopefully I can take some heat off the golf ball. And so as we can see here, it runs through the fringe and that ball coming out of there is about as slow as it can possibly go. And you can see that that ball is gonna have a little bit better chance to finish up closer to the hole. Now remember, neither one of those putts are gimmies but you have to take your licks. Don't automatically jump up here and look at that one and say, oh, the green goes like this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna whip it in there, okay? Because when you do, you can see that ball is gonna gather speed and it's gone. Here, we took a little bit different route. We used the fringe to slow it down, and now instead of having a 15, 20 footer for par, we actually have about a seven to 10 footer for par, something that's reasonable. Try it.